a few videos back, I did a, a, a video just showing three ways how I remove solder. Um, there's only three ways I remove solder because it, it's dependent on what type of soldering jobs you get. A lot of my stuff really is surface mount, so I tend to use solder wick. Um, it's a lot better than anything else I can use really for so, um, surface mount devices. Um, you probably use these really cheap and nasty, horrible solder sockers. I've had this for God knows how many years, and it was probably three or four quid off eBay. The tips, get it in right, tips never been used, and I still have all these spare tips that came with it. It's a lot of cack, to be honest. Um, I then bought this contraption from China, and as scary as hell it is, because with Chinese stuff, you never know whether the safety is really there or not, to be honest. Uh, if you're not smoking by the time you've used it, then you're probably okay. Um, it's a heated element, similar to a solder iron. And I think from memory, I did get a couple of tips, but I've lost them. But you can get a, a smaller tips, bigger tips. And basically you go over the, the leg of whatever soldered in, heat it up and then zap it. And to be honest, it does work very well. I was surprised. The last time I used it, um, it worked that well that off camera, when I moved the circuit board off camera, the actual component fell out on its own. I then mentioned um, that there was a, mar um, a new one on the market, the Engineer SS02. And everyone was raving about it because one, it, it was really well made and primarily because of the silicon tip. You go back to the cheap one, these are hard plastic. Now what that means is you're not going to get the coverage you need. If this was the heating element and you've tried trying to put the solder socket over the part to suck up, you've got a lot of gaps either side, so you're not going to get the suction you need with these things. And these do melt, hence why you get a load spare. The silicon tip, you're not going to melt that. And I'll be honest with you, the weight, the feel, it it is fantastic i saw a few of them on ebay 20 or something pounds and then i came across uh the one which i'll i'll show now um it was 17.99 i'd been umming and ahhing about getting it because i don't use them that often but when you do electronics as a hobby friends and family know you do it so inevitably you might get a knock at the door and they go can you fix this so you know, I always end up buying stuff in that I don't have any jobs for. I buy in hundreds of different types of USB ports just in case somebody says they've got a faulty USB port. This is only a hobby. You know, I don't do this commercially, but I, I treat myself as I am because I buy in so much stuff in anticipation of jobs coming up. So this was bought in case somebody comes in with a circuit board that's through hole and I need something decent. So I treated myself, again, like a hobby... Um, you've got the initial setup, which is expensive, but you're still going to treat yourself. I used to do fishing, cart fishing, and that was endless. The amount of gear that's on eBay is ridiculous. You know, I mean, it's just the same. You spend money on that, you spend money on this. So I've got this, and I've done a little circuit board. Um, I think I'm probably going to have to go with the camera. In fact, I might actually do it this way. Uh, I know you can kind of see that. And what I'm going to do, I've put a couple of solder block, well, two components down on the board, reversed it. So I'm going to heat it up firstly with the solder iron and then squash it over with the silicon. So I heat that up first, hit it with the silicon. Yeah, sort of there. Right, it's got that one. I think the other one, it's just being a bit awkward. That's me not getting it right. It's only the second time I've really used this. So, yeah, there you go. That's cleared it. Just to show you, you can see the holes going through. So it has cleared it. Probably not the best of examples, but 
as I said, I've only used this like once before just to test it. It's just getting the timing right. That's cleared that. So yeah, no, it, it works. I'll bring it back down here. Um, I was surprised at the size of it. Um, I got it and I was like, is it a fake? It's tiny. But, you know, it is. It is a small item. Um, very well made, as I said. The only thing I'd say is when you when you get it in your hand and you're squashing the plunger down, if you do have the button, which is there, if you do have that in your grasp, focus, 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 concentrate, focus, focus. Have I been blurred all this time? Ah, <sighs> there we go, a bit better. If you do grab it wrong, then when you're trying to push it down like that, it'll just keep popping up because the button is very easily, it's quite a very smooth and easy button to press. So obviously when you've got it on the finger side, it won't click, so. But look, I'm being absolutely so fussy about that. That's that's nothing. You do get a little length of the silicon. Now, I've looked up on the internet and you can buy replacements. They're about so big. Two silicon um, tubing. And I think it's about four quid. And I'm thinking, well, hang on. It's only silicon tubing. You know, it's silicon tubing is silicon tubing. It's going to be heat resistant. So... There was that advert that I saw for the replacement silicon, and then I saw, after doing a bit of a search for silicon tubing, this advert. Now, the difference is, I think it's pretty much the same size. Uh, the inner diameter is the same size. I think the outer diameter is slightly, slightly a bit bigger, but not by much. But you get a meter for £3 odd. So you're getting a ton more, cheaper. So I think when it's time I need more silicon, I'm just going to buy that stuff rather than the original stuff and see how that is. Because at the end of the day, silicon tubing is silicon tubing. Just because it's a replacement for this very nice product doesn't mean you have to overpay for it. So that's the solder soaker. Really is a nice bit of kit to add to your little lab.